Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Gabe's to here. We are looking at a StarCraft II achievement guide for the Nick of Time achievement. Again, this is part of the Mastery series of achievements for the Heart of the Swarm campaign. And in this case, uh, it requires that you complete the Back in the Saddle mission uh, with more than 40 seconds remaining on each lockdown while you're on hard difficulty or higher. So, the good news is that you don't actually have to complete the mission to get this achievement. You just have to do this section that uh, is based on lockdown. So it's also early enough that you don't have to worry about any of your particular upgrades because you cannot select Kerrigan or Army upgrades uh, since you haven't reached that point in the campaign. So let's go ahead and get started with the actual achievement section and just walk through what we're doing. All right, so we're picking up the action just before the achievement section actually starts when you get ambushed by the Zerg and the Dominion forces in the top here. And I don't know if you start the next section with full health and energy automatically, but pick up that recharge just in case. And as soon as you get ported, make sure you save. It should checkpoint you anyway. You will immediately snipe the fire bat and then go down. AE on everything for a lot of damage. And then your AE should come up again when the next wave of Zerglings come up. So just hit them while you're around, around you. Snipe the Roach. And pretty much just using everything you have available to you. Now arguably you can save one of your AEs for this section, but it shouldn't matter too much. Focus the Hydralisks first as they do a lot of DPS. And if worse comes to worse, back up a little bit, and that'll force Jim to be the closest target to the enemy. So he'll take some damage. But as long as you survive, you'll get this recharge and you can heal up. Now the second section is the hardest one to make the time limit on. So don't waste your AE there, I almost did, but snipe the roach instead, it takes longer. And make sure you take advantage of the smart pathing. So if you wanna cut a corner, just click above the corner and the pathing will be good for you. Now I used your blast on the Ultralisk immediately and then try to keep its health about even with the barrier. So don't be afraid to switch targets every other shot because you don't wanna be, uh, you want the Ultra to do as much damage to the barrier as possible so that by the time the Ultra dies, the barrier is dying too. And then snipe the Ghost, AE the Zerglings and the Ultra because there's four targets. And then you snipe, or excuse me, Concussion Blast on the Ultra. Again, try to get everything to die about the same time. And lastly, use Concussion Blast on the final barrier before the lockdown. So as you see there, I only had three seconds to spare, so it's really close. Um, so you might have to practice that section a few times. Just efficient movement and efficient use of your abilities is the main thing. Uh, here, I should have either sniped that guy um, or just killed the medic first, but uh, it's not a big deal. And this section does not count on your timer while you're looking at it. So a couple ways you can go about it. Uh, I generally do the Zerglings, but I think gas is just as fast. The gas will basically kill all the humans and leave behind the tank and the Vikings, I guess they are. But uh, obviously Zerglings die very fast to AE damage and miscellaneous shots. So don't be afraid to stutter, stutter step here. Just move, hit S between your shots and you'll automatically turn and fire. And then use your AE on the big pack of Dominion forces and you should have plenty of time to reach the final marker here. And once you step on it, if you did everything under 40 seconds, that's the achievement. The rest of the mission doesn't matter for it, so that's pretty much it. It's not too difficult, just that second section is a little tight, um, but you should get it. So good luck, and thanks for watching.